Hi, it's Dr. Noel Williams, Optimal Health Associates. I'm going to give a review of ozone or ozone therapy, and I'm going to call it Ozone 101, like an introductory class. I'm like Kim, who wanted me to title it Ozone for Dummies, but I thought that was not true. Not, it's true, but I didn't think that was kind in our benevolent society today. <laughs> so ozone is just O3. It's an extra oxygen molecule, an extra electron. And that has energy and think energy or agitation. So when we think about if you're in my age group, ozone damage from the sun or whatever, well, it's really the sun hitting ozone particles, hitting um, uh, foreign particles or pollutants. And then that hits your skin and it can cause damage. So ozone therapy first is a paradoxical therapy, meaning you're using an agitatory event to cells to make them do something new or different. So when you draw blood from someone and you put ozone in it a certain amount and you infuse that back in, that's um, called major heme therapy or autoheme therapy with ozone, whatever you want to call it. The, those ozone molecules of oxygen are carried in your vascular system by, L, by albumin and by LDL and cholesterol particles. And then they're, they transfer to cells all throughout your body. And as they transfer to the cell, the electron hits the cell and it causes an agitatory effect. And that agitatory effect isn't damaging. It just makes the cell think, oh, uh, something's happening. I need to change my activity. And so it does a few things. It changes something called Nerf Alpha, Nerf 2 Alpha and Nerf 2 Kappa. And so Nerf 2 alpha, alpha goes down, which decreases inflammatory mediator release, and Nerf 2 Kappa causes an increase in anti-inflammatory mediator release. I'm not saying ozone is anti-inflammatory or, or pro-inflammatory. I'm just describing it because the FDA doesn't want me to tell you what it actually does. So I'm just describing the cellular effects. It also then causes those cells to release a massive amount of antioxidant reactive elements which rebalance your oxidative metabolism or decreases oxidative damage which underlies if oxidative damage is here inflammation is here so we're keeping this turning down which could affect this so it could be restorative to pathways that could be helpful for you and again as i've mentioned in some of my other posts i have to be very specific with language these days because it's regulated by the fda so that's the first thing it does think antioxidant balance or restoration or regeneration number two the oxygen or the o3 goes into cells and affects the mitochondria and stimulates function and causes the production of nicotinamide acid, which is an important thing if you're in functional medicine, but it makes the mitochondria work better or increases cellular function. Third, it causes a reversal or increase in oxygen utilization as compared to when you're getting older and makes it like when you're younger, so it regenerates oxygen metabolism in a safe and effective way. So the bottom line is it helps restore cells it helps increase tissue function and organ function, so it's considered regenerative. So it's something that can be used with almost any medical condition as an augmentation strategy to maybe make you feel better or resolve an issue. Uh, we have had good ex experience with it so far after almost we're approaching um, about seven weeks. We've completed a bunch of people's cycles and people have noticed a difference. Uh, so again, interesting people with autoimmune disease, people with um, other related post illness symptoms that aren't getting better. It's different. Thing. It's, a, it's a strategy or a consideration to apply collateral to standard medical practice um, for those people. Very safe stuff. Um, very helpful. It also um, is very toxic to viruses, bacteria, yeast, all of those things. So a whole variety of things. You can also put ozone in a joint and it agitates the um, stem cells in the joint to turn on and causes angiogenesis. Same thing in tissue planes if you actually injected ozone into a tissue plane or joint space. Um, so that's just the thumbnail sketch on it. Very basic uh, review. And we'll talk more about ways you can utilize it in clinical practice or for patients at a later time when 
Kim tells me I should. <laughs> anyway, so you all take care and good night.